Hi, in this video, you will see how to use the audio editor. First, we need to register or log in if you already have an account. Let's go to the studio and let's create a new project. We have a couple ways that we can upload audio. The first is to add it from the libraries. We can also record it through the microphone. In the studio settings, you can choose which microphone you want to use. And by clicking the two record buttons here and here, we can record audio from the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also drop in files by simply dragging and dropping from your own files on your computer. In the toolbar, if you click Time Tool, you'll have the option to speed up or slow down the sample. And you can synchronize it to the beat you want. Let's take a sample like this, for example. And we'll duplicate it. Let's add some more keys from the library. Within each clip, you can change the pitch. Let's try to do that with the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's change the pitch here, for example, down. Yeah. In the audio editor, we can remove some parts that we don't want. For example, the noise at the beginning and at the end. Also here we can move this sample if we need to. Also here we have the ability to do fades. If you want your sample to start smoothly, you can also add audio effects to each track. We go into Effects and select any effect here, like Reverb. Let's do the same thing, only on the fourth track on the keys. We'll add an effect, like Delay, for example. We can also use the equalizer. For example, on track two, let's add an equalizer that cuts the low frequencies on the voice. We take an equalizer mini, turn it up to reverb and trim the low frequencies with it. That's how it was without. And this is how it is with the equalizer. If you create a new track, you can record another new track in the background of existing audio files. Let's try that out. You can also extend all of these instruments. We're duplicating this area. And we can record audio of any duration. After that, we can save our project. And open it up in the future if we want to finalize it. Be sure to wait until all the files are saved. We can also click Export Audio. 
select the format to export and save our track to the selected folder. 